cabbage. You either love it or hate it or think you hate it. With just a handful of ingredients, this fried cabbage comes together in minutes. The best part is you can prep all the ingredients ahead of time for a quick and easy weeknight dinner. Enjoy a big bowl of this as is over rice, tossed with pasta, or enjoy it with some cornbread. It's filling and comforting, and with a little kick of Cajun heat, it'll warm you right up. Let me show you how. Cabbage is a superfood rich in vitamins, great for digestion, heart health, inflammation. I just love it and can't get enough of it. I know that some people might think that they don't like it so much. Maybe it's because you've never had it cooked any other way than cooked mush, which I don't mind. I'll eat it any way I can get it, but add some bacon and sausage and I just don't know who wouldn't love this. The great thing is that you can switch the flavor profile of this dish depending on which kind of seasoning and which kind of sausage you're using. If you want something more Italian, go for some Italian seasoning and Italian sweet or hot sausage. Today, we're going crazy Cajun. I've got my Bayou blend from Blackstone, so I went with a smoked chorizo sausage and a smoked andouille sausage. This is a quick and easy cook, so prep is key. You can even do it all the night before for a fast dump and go dinner on a busy weekday. I'll cut up some thick sliced bacon. About four to six slices is good if it's on the thick side. You wanna use a little bit more if it's on the thin side. Then get our smoked chorizo and our smoked andouille sausage sliced up. Fresh chopped garlic is a must for me. Anywhere between five to six cloves to a whole head. I think the more the better. Once we got that chopped, we'll move that aside for now. And then on to our onions. I use either a medium or a large onion or two small onions, just a rough chop. We want everything to be cut into bite-sized pieces to match our sausage slices. Then a red and green bell pepper, one large each, more or less if you'd like. You can always go heavy on the meat or heavy on the veggies. It's all up to you. I like a whole large head of cabbage here with some muscle, carefully cut it in half, then remove the center, then just a quick rough chop. Now that we have everything ready to dump and cook, let's start. I need this bacon to go on low and slowly cook to render out as much fat or bacon grease as possible. This liquid gold flavors our dish. To help give us some time, I'll cut the center burners off for a couple of minutes just to slow things down. Adding a little bit of bacon up, then add our sausages, tossing them to coat in that bacon fat and allow these to char up a bit as our bacon finishes cooking. With those center burners turned back on just to low, it only takes about two to three minutes, then we remove this for now, leaving behind as much bacon fat as possible. Spreading that across the surface for our onions and our peppers to cook in just a minute or two before adding all of our cabbage. We toss to coat everything, adding a little more extra bacon up if needed, spreading out everything so that it can cook low and slowly and evenly. You wanna make sure to keep tossing everything every couple of minutes and allow it to go just until it's tender to your liking. I like it to have a slight bite still, especially because leftovers are so good. When I reheat this, I don't want it to turn to mush. Once it's cooked down just about to my liking, I'm gonna add my garlic and my seasonings. Some of the Blackstone all-purpose seasoning and then some of our Bayou blend. Give that a quick toss and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper and now our sausage and bacon goes back into the mix. We marry this all together, allowing it to go just for one more minute, then cut our heat and I could literally eat this hot off the griddle, but we'll plate this up. Nothing fancy. I'm serving this family style while watching the Phillies and calling it a night. You could also enjoy this over rice or mix in some pasta, scoop it up with a crusty baguette or some cornbread. I always make sure to make enough so that I have leftovers because it's so good. Cabbage cooked anyway on the Blackstone really is always a family style favorite and I just love seeing all all of Griddle Nation throwing down their family favorite cabbage dishes on the Blackstone. They always make me so hungry when scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. I can't get enough of it, so be sure to keep posting and sharing all of your family favorites if you make this one. Be sure to tag us so that we can see it and share it. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. I cannot wait to see you guys for another family style favorite in the next video.